Hey guys, I wanted to check in real quick because I have some fun news that because this has been an ongoing problem for me for months and it changed. Um, I got my taste buds back. I started to be able to taste on October 12th. I wasn't sure what it was at first because I hadn't tasted the full effect of food and um but then by the 13th and the 14th, I'm like, oh, I'm tasting this food now. So I've been eating all my favorites and yummy. And I was uh, in McMinnville over the weekend. I went to Abby's Pizza because I love pizza. I love Abby's Pizza. Um, pizza, pizza, pizza. But one of the things... Um, that I thought was happening was that I was losing a lot of weight, but apparently I didn't lose as much as I thought, which is good. You know, I, I need all the weight that I have to help me, you know, keep, keep my body nutritioned and just keep everything working, keep everything flowing, keep everything going as long as possible. Because my problem is with my kidneys, so that, I mean, my liver, so it leads to kidney failure. It can lead to, you know, all organ failure, you know, which leads to death. But as long as I can keep things moving and flowing and good and working as long as possible, then I'm, you know, and, and nutrition is a big part of that. So I'm able to eat better. I eat, can eat a little bit more. Um, without feeling digestive problems. So it's been really good. I don't know what happened, but <sighs> thank the universe something changed, you know. I, um, didn't really know how much weight I had lost because I got rid of all my scales because they were doing me no good, but then I needed them. So then I'm like, maybe I should get one back. So, but the old fashioned ones not the ones with batteries because I can't keep those little batteries charged. So I'm um, going to find a good old fashioned weight scale for me. It's my to-do list. Um, a few other things that are coming up is I meet with my oncologist on Thursday. We're going to go over my new treatment plan because my scans, you know, showed progression of the disease, showed new tumors. So I'm going to start a new medication. And I will be doing that the following week. I have that all scheduled. So um, back to infusions, back to using my port. So I tried to do my... Well, I did do my brain scan yesterday, except they couldn't get my IV started. It's the first time because my veins are very, oh, what did he say? Wispy. <laughs> I liked that word, wispy veins. So he could not find a vein that he could use. They tried four times some different spots of my arm. So that was the first time that happened. So if I need to do the dye um, contrast part of the brain scan, I'll have to do that at the hospital where they can actually access my port and put the dye in that vein there um, and get the brain scan to where the dye is a contrast of active overactive cells and not overactive but they did get good pictures so i got good pictures and so far they're showing no sign of cancer or um, radical cells in my brain which you can't tell sometimes the way i talk but i am now getting i am qualified for a handicap parking permit so i'm going to take advantage of that use my handicap parking permit when i need it and i am also 
qualify, like I qualify for disability. So I'm trying to get disability. I'm trying to get disability or a job. I don't know, but I have to have income. Like I can't not have income. So I've been one month income with less income. It's already scary. So, um, you know, just trying to do something. Um, I did have an interview with the school district. I applied over the weekend. I just wanted to update my application, but I got called in very quickly. So I've already had two interviews for the same position. And now I'm on to the third interview for that same position, um, which is going to be a little teaching a little lesson plan, going over something with the kids to see how I am in action. So this is a very kind of challenging school where they, it's a bit of a process to get in the door. Um, it's a, it's a really good school. I love the school. So I'm excited. And, um, phase three, like, you know, just going to try, see what's going on. See if I can, you know, help some more people along my journey here. So just wanted to update you on all of that. And um, I will be, you know, busy, busy. But you guys take really good care. I love you. I'm praying for you guys. I'm staying strong over here, eating my dinners. Um, no more medication. I have to stop taking my medication that I was taking in order to give my body a little rest before the new medication starts. So, you know, I'm excited about that. It feels good not to be taking so many not even a lot of pills, but you know, just any pills right now is a lot. So thank you guys for your continued prayers and much encouragement and blessings out there. Take care.